hello everyone good day good morning good afternoon welcome to my channel haiti's president juvenile moise was assassinated what really happened inside the house a group of gunmen broke into the home of president moise in the pelerin neighborhood at around 1 a.m local time on wednesday, wednesday 7 july they shot the president 12 times. For those of you asking what time, it was 1 a.m. Guys, Mr. Moyes was found lying on his back, his shirt soaked in blood, his left eye gushed out. A magistrate said he had bullet wounds into his forehead and several to his torso. He died at the scene. The first lady. Martin Moyes was also shot but survived. For those of you saying she died, she survived and she's been taken to the US for further treatment and hope everything becomes good for her. She has been airlifted to Florida in the United States and is said to be in stable condition. The couple's daughter, Jomalie Moyes, hid in her brother's bedroom and was unhurt. She and her two brothers are in safe locations, officials said. How did the attackers actually get in? That's a good question. Video footage which has not been independently verified but which is thought to have been taken as the assailant inside the property shows armed men dressed in black arriving in white SUVs. A man appears to have been forced to lie face down in the street while another man can be heard shouting in English and English over loudspeaker DA US first drug enforcement administration operation everybody stayed down okay for those of you actually asking how did they really get into the house and where was the security guard because come on he's a president I mean he was a president of a nation right so I'm thinking the, the this is this was kind of a disguise you know they came into the house shouting they hear obviously when you hear you know people shouting with hands and you're probably thinking okay these are drugs um law these are law enforcement agencies from the drug bureau so you want to put your guard down and then approach them and let them know okay you're in the wrong residence you know probably that was where they took advantage of the scene so Haiti, Haiti ambassador to the u.s but Chid Edmond said that while the attackers had disguised themselves as U.S. drug agents, he believed there was no way they really were U.S. agents. Officials said that the ground between the property gatehouse and the residence was littered with cartridges cases, indicating that multiple shots were fired. The government tied up two members of the domestic staff while continued shouting DEA operation. They ransacked Mr. Moise's office and took a checkbook in the couple's names, as well as the servers that held the surveillance camera footage from the residence. The two top security officers in charge of Mr. Moise's safety are under investigation and have been summoned to appear at hearing schedule for 13th and 14th of July. Obviously, they have to answer for this, man, because I'm thinking somebody sold him out because. No, this is a this was a precedent or precedent guys like you just don't go into a president's house and kill people shoot people and then making excuses saying DEA fine you probably have your garden but not everybody right though that's supposed to be the protocol and then getting into his house killing him so probably they sold him out obviously because of probably up I don't know just saying so actually how did the assailant flee the scene Late information has so far been released about the hours immediately after the attack. Haiti's police chief announced some 24 hours after Mr. Moy's assassination that a fierce gun battle was on the way in the Pellerin neighborhood, which blocked the suspect and route as they left the scene of the crime. Since then, we have been battling them, Chief Leon Charles said, without specifying an exact timeline. The police chief also said officers had emerged to free three policemen who had been taken hostage by the gunmen. He originally said four suspects had been killed in a gun battle, 
but that number has since been revised down to three. It has emerged that 11 of the suspects fled to Taiwan's diplomatic compound in Port Hill Prince. Taiwan's officials said they were informed by 80 police that the suspects were hiding in a compound early on 8 July, more than 24 hours after the attack. Taiwan allowed police access and all 11 suspects hiding within arrest without problem. They were arrested without problems. Two suspects who were hiding in a ravine were caught by civilians who had joined in the search. The body of one alleged gunman was found on the roof of a home where he bled to death while hiding. Two more suspects were found dead very close to the president's residence. Who are actually the suspects? 80 police say there are 28 suspects in total of which 17 have been apprehended. Three have been killed and eight remain at large. Police Chief Charles said 26 of the suspects are Colombian and other two are Asians Americans. The US Asians individual nationals have been named as James Soledge, 35, and Joseph Vincent, 55, both are in custody. An investigate, investigating judge said the two had told interrogators they have been hired as translators on the internet the two alleged that they did not know there was a plan a fool to kill the president but believed they were to act as translators as he was arrested 80s officials language are creole and french while the colombia assailants spoke spanish the colombians detainees were paraded before the media by Asian officials who showed the suspect passport and weapons they had seized. The Colombia has confirmed that the least six of detainees are from members of the country's armed forces. The two Colombians found dead near the president resident have been named by Asian officials as Mauricio Javier Romeo, Medina and Debony Capablo Giraldo. Colombia newspaper El Tempio says both were, form, were former surgeons and they were 45 and 40 years old respectively. Asian officials say one suspect said the group had been in Haiti for three months, but research by El Tempio suggests that some of them only arrived in Haiti on 6th of June, across the land border from the neighboring Dominican Republic. According to a newspaper, they are they had spent two days in the Dominican Republic where they were visited at least one popular tourist spot. Photos uploaded to their social media accounts show them posing at a monument to explorer Christopher Columbus. What was the motive actually? The 80 officials are convinced that the men arrested are mercenaries and that they were paid to kill the president. They say proud priority now is to find the mastermind behind the assassination. Acting Prime Minister Claude Joseph said President Moyes had opposed some oligarchs in the country and we believe those things are not without consequences. In 2018, there were widespread protests when it tried to raise fuel prices and earlier this year, a dispute over the length of its term saw powerful figures calling him to step down. His plan to hold a constitutional referendum for the incense those who accused him of wanting to increase the power of executive, but when he said in February that an attempt to kill him and overthrow his government had been foiled, many dismissed it as a smokescreen to to divert attention away from the growing discontent in Haiti. After all, despite all the political instability, Haiti has lived through. The last time Haiti president was assassinated while in office was in 1915, more than 100 years ago. So this is really sad. It's a sad situation. This is all we have for you today, guys. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and be part of the family. We will keep updating you about the situation. We'll keep an eye on it and um, we'll definitely monitor the situation. Let's wish the First Lady a quick recovery and uh, 
thanks guys for stopping by again have a bless have a blessed day have a blessed life and do what you gotta do stay off crime one love bye my people